Hey guys, Scotty Tiquati here. What you're looking at is my favorite trainer drone. It's a freestyle Tawny Hawk. And I really love this drone. It showed me how to maneuver my bigger quads better. It's still teaching me. The problem I had with it though is the one-off problem is that I was flying it and it hit the ground. I don't know if because the ground was wet, but it really wasn't hard, but the board died. Well, first of all, I had a problem with my with my camera when I hit something. I, I actually hit something really hard, and then the camera failed on me, and I started getting these weird backup lines that you would get on a, you know, as if you had a car, you know, backup camera on a car. I started getting those lines, so I had to replace the camera with a different camera that doesn't even show me the OSD. But still flyable, I could deal with that, but all of a sudden, the uh, flight controller died. And so if you look around for the Tiny Hawk Freestyle uh, all-in-one flight controller, for the freestyle, it's hard to find. I could not personally find it. And if you can, good luck to you. I got mine at Race Day Quads. Um, they did not have the freestyle board. Can't find it in Banggood, can't find it anywhere. So if you can find it, that's great. But if not, the only solution that I found, because I have mine working now, is to use the actual uh, Tiny Hawk S flight controller. And I was told, which is true, that is the same exact board to that they use for the uh, freestyle and when i installed it i got the same amount of flight times it runs smooth have no problems with it at all the only problem that i did have with it was trying to make it work once i installed it because if you look at it you know just like the old board fits in just like that you wire up your motors and you think you're good to go problem was is that you're not good to go because here is the tiny hawk s well, the shell for it, the frame. Now, if you notice, the flight controller does not go in like this. It's, I'll show you in a second here. It goes in the side. And so it freaked me out because I got it all in, tried to start it up, and I could not get it to work for the life of me. So, you will run into that problem if you're a newbie like myself. If you're experienced pilots, you probably already know. What you're gonna have to do is not throw the board away and kick and curse like I did, but what you'll have to do is resource the motors or remapping your motors. So even though it's, well, I don't know, one, two, three, four, whatever the motor situ situation is, you gotta figure out and change the mapping order, order, order of your uh, motors to get them to work. And uh, I think there's guys, Wiley Burke, has a tutorial on it and Val Kramer. I'll put those links below. But that's what I had to do because there's plenty, plenty of Tiny Hawk S flight controllers. You can even get that on race day quads for 54 bucks instead of just getting mad and throwing your quad away. You can get it on there, you can, uh, and just use the tutorial, hook it up, solder everything the same, but you're gonna just have to resource or remap your motors. And like I said, I'll put a links below um, to the resources that I used. And it's actually fun because once you get it working, you're like, man, I feel a little bit smarter today because now if you get any board, like if you get a diamond board, you know, and it's situated a little bit differently, you can look at your motors and turn them on and say, you know what, I don't have to throw this board away now. I'll just remap my motors and fly it to a different frame. No biggie, you know? So I think it's essential in this, uh, this micro category, this, uh, this whatever whoop, not whoop, but a uh, twig class and toothpick class. Most of those boards are in a diamond situation, so if you go with a different frame, you know, you're gonna have to figure out, in most cases, in a lot of cases, how to remap and resource your motors. So that's all I got. My freestyle is back in action, runs smooth as heck, and is a great trainer for me. All right, guys, hope this helps. Scott Duquati saying have a great weekend. Signing out.